Well, hello. Can you hear me? Tap, tap, tap. Tappa, tappa, tappa. Okay, I see the things moving, so hopefully you're hearing me. If not, I'm sure hopefully someone will let me know. If you're that someone, you know who you are. All right. It's been a long time since we rock and roll, right? A week? Two weeks? Anyway, uh, in preparation for CoastCon, which is coming up. You know, I didn't do the whole intro thing. Let me, let me. Well, hello and welcome. It's Wednesday. We've been gone for quite a while, but we're back now. And my name is Jesse Craig, a.k.a. Ego Rabbit. If you followed before, you, you know the spiel. You can check out stuff at charismakills.com and some other little comics and stuff. But right now, let's just let's just jump to it. So I, I am I am preparing for Ooh, we all heard the thunder. Thunder. Hopefully the power stays on. Live in South Louisiana. It's crapshoot. Hell power will go out when it's not raining. But anyway, hey. Where were we? Getting ready for, getting weird ready for, uh, Contra Flow in this October. First, first weekend of October, I believe. I, I'm not sure on the exact date, but, uh, hopefully we'll be running test play. I will be running test plays at Contra Flow 10. Oh, so let's just get into it. Why not? Why not? Let's just jump into it. Um, today we're just gonna be coloring a critter, a critter that appears will will appear in one of the weird games, um, the book, one of the game booklets. So here we go. Let me uh, let me shoot us over to the art board. Oh, there we are. We have been shot over to the art board. Okay, this is a creature. This is like a um. A fishy kind of creature. I don't want to give too much away, but. Oh, oh, look, Sherry says second weekend. We'll get the details for it. Maybe Sherry can put a link to the ContraFlow website or something in there. All right, so obviously this is a creature. This is a monster. This is an aquatic creature. This is like a little fishy thing. It's a fish thing. A fish thing. Um, I imagine this thing to kind of be the colors of a catfish. But I also, in my mind, I see a lot of purples going on. So, I don't know. Let's, let's find a color. Let's just find a color to start with. So, I think, let's just go with some kind of mid-tone here. Um... No, you know, I'm going to go back to this greenish yellowish. Let's do that. Let's try that. Alright, well, we need a color layer. So let's go here. Let's open a new layer. Let's go ahead and call that color. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use the old lasso tool. I don't know. Let's use a Dell dropper. See what happens. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. Boop. Uh oh. What happened? Pretzel rocks went silent.
it's back. All right, so I'm just going to do this outline of this creature here so I can just drop her, pop her it. All right. This is going to be my mid-tone. By the way, these creatures are vicious, 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 vicious little horror creatures. I, uh, I have a series of modules pretty much written for weird that I wanted to capture, um, some basic horror movie. One moment. What? Sorry, that's Siri talking some shit on my phone over here. But anyway, I wanted to have modules that captured um, classic, the classic B grade horror. Uh, feels, feels, feels. Is it feels? That's the word we use today. Feels. If you played in the test plays at CoastCon last year, or if you watched some of the test plays that we do with the United Adventure Company on YouTube, you may have saw some of Some of those modules, like Reunion and <clears throat> Jeez, I can't remember their names now. <laughs> uh. Got a lot of My brain is kind of mush today. I got up at like Stupid early o'clock in the morning. And I actually got a lot accomplished today. I practically. <sighs> practically. Um, I, I don't know how much I want to give away. Anyway. Let's just say I have the makings of two modules. That I worked on today. That. I think I like. So, I'll hold off on commentary on those in case, in the rare chance that some of you out there may actually go to ContraFlow. But they're going to be fun. Alright, that took a little while. But... Let's see, I should be able to just go ahead and fill it all in now. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, got to find out where the leaks are. Here we go, here's a leak. Beep. Here's a leak. There's a leak. That may be all the leaks. Puya, 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 puya is a word, right? Yeah, the Witch of Hallowood. The Witch of Hallowood and Return to Newsom. Along with Reunion. I'm going to bring those with me to Contra Flow. And I'll, I'll probably run those for people who haven't played in them yet. And uh, then I'll have at least two new games that I'm working on right now. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, Thunder. Okay. That is my mid-tone. So I can go ahead and... Turn transparency off. Transparency locked so it won't be coloring out lines. Okay. 
Uh, let's choose a color. I'm gonna get like this malted green, this model malty, whatever the hell I got. You know, I don't know, I might rely on that green color too much. However, it is going to be let's let's see. No, I think that's good. Yeah, I really don't want to give up. <clears throat> really don't want to give away too much about these creatures. Well, I'll tell you they're aquatic. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's grab. We'll let that color. The color run down the legs to. I don't know, we think. Hmm. Let that color run down the legs. Oh, shit. Let me turn transparency a lot back on. Alright, that was our most mistake. Um, let's just get it to right here. You know, it can always change things. All right. <clears throat> let's color these in. I think, I think we'll make the feet. Then we'll blend that in. All right, uh-oh, let's go up here. Hey, Diamond, it's been a long time. How are you? Yeah, not a lot of brains in this thing, but definitely a lot of teeth. I've been wondering, been wondering about you, Diamond. <clears throat> Getting ready to uh, do some test plays with your group again, probably in the next week or two. On on United Adventure Company, on YouTube. All right. Let's blend this in. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. All right, let's blend these. Get that tone blended in there. Yep, salty dogs assemble. It's gonna be interesting. I I'm wondering how Gina's not gonna be playing with us because she's using the old I've got a human inside a human excuse. Sherry will be playing. All right, I like that. I think that's good. Um, I may go ahead and lock that in and start a new layer. Well, let me...
Let me get these spines. You know, originally they were a lot more spiny, like they had uh, like a sunfish, like a perch or something. You know, like uh, it's got all those spines in the fins. <clears throat> Not like catfish, but like you know, the dorsal fins had all have, have all those spines in it that stick you. All right, uh, let me do a little more blending, I think. A little more blending here. Down here on the legs. Oh, look, I forgot a spot. Yes, it should be fine. It should be fine. Like this. Sorry about all the dead air. It's been a while. You gotta get used I gotta get back to use talking and drawing at the same time. Yeah, those like little feeler things. Um Oh I'll, I'll tell you one of one of the um inspirations for these creatures. One of the inspirations for these creatures was critters. Little balls of teeth. So, you know, critters have the krites. The krites have the spiny things on their backs. So, I was going to do that, but I thought, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to start a new layer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this one the mouth layer. The mouth layer. And done. All right, we need mouth colors. Mouth, 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 mouth. All right, let's see how far a magic lasso will get me. Hey, look at that. Let's just do this. I'm not sure about this pink. I'm going to use the lasso tool here. So I can get some solids. And as for the playtest book. Chapter 2 is really close to being done. I need to finish part 2 of the character sheet. All right, now I'm just not too sure about these, about this mouth. But 
this mouth color. That's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. <clears throat> Yeah, and Halloween is on the way as well, Diamond. And I have a Halloween game planned. I like to do a weird game every Halloween. I actually wanted to do one where... All the groups got to play together, but I, I don't know that... <laughs> My God, can you imagine... The salty dog group with the what, what did we call the other group? I don't even remember what they're it would be chaos, it'd be pure chaos. We'd never get we'd never get out of the end using D and D terms. Oh, got that dead air again. Sorry, I'm just concentrating here. Bam. Alright, once I get all this colored in, I'll lock it. Jeez, what is that? Is that rain? I mean, that sounds pretty heavy. I can hear it through the headphones. All right. That's pretty thunderous rain. <clears throat> Unless it's just sounding louder than it actually is to me. Yeah, don't be surprised if I lose power. All right. Clean up all these little lines. Make sure all the all the teats are colored in. <laughs> yeah, that it would be. All right. Now let me lock it in. Locked in. Okay. Let's get some darker. Darker colors when you use the little shadows. I'll use my watercolor brush here. Y'all know I nubs my watercolor brush. <clears throat> I don't know. Hopefully it's not hail and it's not busting out the windshield of the car. It's rained for like 
damn near every day for two weeks here. Totally destroyed my little tomato garden. Not that there was much left of it anyway, but man. However, my chilies, my Tabasco chilies had survived. And I'm getting ready to make some sauce. Homemade sauce. You like hot stuff, Diamond? You like hot sauces and things like that? Love spicy food. I feel you. I feel you. A while back, I made some shrimp creole. And wow, I it was it was borderline too damn hot for me. Same, my son was eating it and going, Oh, that is hot! It's hot. I'll tell you what, it had a damn good flavor, though. Damn good flavor. All right, I don't know where the light's coming from, so I'm just I'm just throwing some highlights in here. Guess you wouldn't have liked to partake in my peanuts either then so i boiled some peanuts i boiled a 50 pound sack of green peanuts in a thunderstorm with lightning and all man it was wild But I used uh, some Cajun, like crab and crawfish boil in it, so they got some heat to them. All right. Um, I think that I will start on the teeth now. Let's go ahead and pop a new layer for teeth. <clears throat> now I know the rest of the body's got those midtones on it. I'm gonna revisit that, don't worry. Wow. I love doing the teeth. Let's give them some some un unclean colors here. I don't know. Like Let's give them like that. Let's see how that looks. Bip. 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 Is that too dark? No, I think it'd be alright. Should it be a little white? Yeah, that was a bit of sack, all right. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm serious though. Like I got them, and it's like, like green peanuts spoil really, really fast, right? So it's like you once you get them, you got, got to take care of them, like damn near immediately, and you have to keep them refrigerated and all that. <clears throat> so I got them, and then and then came the rain, and I'm like. <sighs> Well, our, our our big freeze has been busted ever since uh, Hurricane Ida. So, it's like now I had to figure out how to fit 50 pounds of peanuts into the refrigerator. I got them in there. And then it's like, well, the next day, rain or shine, I have to cook them. I have to cook them. So... Start cooking. I waited for a little while because I was, man, it's going to start raining, but it never rained. It was just a little overcast. So then I started. I was like, screw it. Going to start cooking them right now. About an hour and a half into it, there was a just a flash of lightning and just just crash of thunder that shook the entire place i mean it was like it like hit it felt like it hit like next door and then the sky and then the sky just opened up i'm out there i had a i had a metal a large metal stirrer that if you can imagine like a boat or made out of stainless steel it's pretty much what it looks like Lightning was just flashing all around me. Just boom, boom. Luckily, I had a wooden stir, which really does look like a boat paddle. So I came and got it. The uh, water got up about an inch or two past my ankles. <laughs> it was wild. Like the rain was hitting that pot and it was just going and like it's a double it's a huge double burner. The pot is like 170 quarts and the burner is a dual jet burner. It sounds like a it sounds like a freaking airplane or like a jet engine when it's going it's going so it kept them boiling. It kept them going even with their rain in. It's just, I felt like I had unlocked some kind of achievement. I was like, if this were a video game, I unlocked the boil 50 pounds of peanuts in a thunderstorm achievement. Well, let's see. These only took about three hours. Because <clears throat> they're fresh. Fresh green. Um, now, and I let them sit. I let them soak, too. So, the, the, the last 30 minutes, I ran out of gas in the tank. So. But, they were still cooked. Which I was happy for. Um. All right, but I let them soak. So I cooked them about three hours, and let them soak about three and a half to four hours. All right, teeth have their own layer. The mouth has a layer. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get some. Let's go ahead and get some colors going on on these teeth. Let me lock it down. Boop. There we go. Look at them. Oh, gnarly. Love drawing teeth. Love drawing and coloring teeth. 
course, you know, I could have put a lot more detail into the gums, but I did. All right. So yeah, next time I do peanuts, I'll definitely make sure to check the uh, <laughs> the two day forecast or whatever. All right. I like that. I like how that's coming out. Those teeth look pretty good. I don't even think I have to blend it. I think it blended itself. Right, nice. All right. Now, I know I kind of cheated by having that big black block of ink in there, but I may do something with that before it goes into a book. But for right now, it is what it is. Oh, let me do the claws too while I'm here. On this layer. Whoops. All right. The next thing I'm going to do, the next big cook I'm going to do is, well, not counting Thanksgiving or Christmas, but the next big cook I want to do, crabs. A couple weeks ago, I went down to the Gulf Coast and uh, this place called Grand Isle. I didn't bring my crab trap because there was some issues. But I got down there and uh, people were just, man, just pulling crabs out of that water, left and right. And I'm like, son of a bitch. That could have been me. We're breaking in that new 170 quart pot. So far, it's had so far it's went through. I think three crawfish boils, one shrimp boil, and now the peanuts. I want to get it through a crab boil now. Yeah, I initially thought of these creatures as some kind of purple. Yeah, we got some really nice blue crabs out here in the Gulf. And I got the, I got a big crab trap, like not a net, a trap. Because it's a big cage. It's about I don't know, three foot by three foot. You can have up to non commercial Crabbers can have up to 10 of them, so I want to get nine more and go out there and just seed the water with them. All right, those claws are in there. Um...
I guess we should go back and work on this body now. Ooh, excuse me. Why? All right, I believe I want to try to put some. Some browns in here. I don't know, you know, maybe I'll work some purple into it somehow. Let's blend these in. Well, that thunder is kicking out there. I don't know, that's looking pretty good. Color brush. Now for Thanksgiving, I don't know what, uh, but Thanksgiving, I'm going to be doing a turducken. We just ordered it. A chicken stuffed up turkey's ass. No, chicken stuffed up duck's ass, stuffed up turkey's ass. That's what you call forced meats. <laughs> yeah. I I don't think I've ever done a turducken. I, I see it seems like we did do it one year, but it would have been a long time ago. Oh, it's a huge, it's a huge pot, man. It's, it's, uh, it just don't go on the stove. <laughs> like, it's a huge pot. Big, huge aluminum pot. Um... Like when we travel with it, it uh, takes up the it takes up a big um, portion of the back of the hatch area. Right. I don't know. Let's try to work some purple in there.
I know this is absolutely against. There's, like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no color theory wheel or anything that goes. Throw your purples in there with your greens and browns. Oh, the third okay, I'm just gonna put it in the oven. Uh and I'll put it in the oven and um you know, baste it and all that and then make gravy out of the drippings and well you know how that goes. Uh, I don't know. Did I, did I like the purple in there? I, I don't know. I think it was better with the... Hmm. Let me blend it in real good here. Yeah, there's no color harmony <laughs> that calls for you purple and you purple in your earth, earth tones there. But, oh, well. Um, I don't know. It's not that bad. Oh, oh, but you know what? It is working. And I think the reason why it's working is because you can, you can do shadows with purple. I mean, obviously they have to be a darker color or whatever, but I th I think that might be why it's actually working as I blend it in. I don't know. Um. I just don't know. I think maybe the bur I think it was. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it after all. So I'm going to do away with it. I'll just use more of these browns. You know, I think I will. I think I'll do some brown like all the way up here. Oh, what's going on here? Why is that doing that? Oh, okay. Let's make it a darker brown now. All right, I, I think this is going to make a little more sense. All right, blender away. Let's increase the size. Whoopsie. It wasn't the blender. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that's some bitches set on 120 already. Damn. It's actually worse with your finger too, so I can blend it in with my finger. There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, Diamond, if you ever find yourself down this way, we'll boil something up in that big-ass pot, man. Crawfish or... Depending on what's in season at the time. It really is... It really is a... Uh, it's an event. It's a fun time. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Man, I don't, I don't know why. I'm having trouble with these. Deciding on what color I want this. You know, I'm going to stick with it because it may be better once I get the eyes and everything in there, right? Hell, we could do all kinds of stuff. We could fry fish, boil things. <clears throat> the tr traditional, <clears throat> excuse me, the traditional Louisiana welcome, welcoming party there. Hmm. Let me go and do something with this eye. I think it might be the eye that's throwing me off, so let's get a new layer. Oh, you know, I think I did purple in the eyes. That's not too bad. Um, I mean, I'm gonna put a lot of uh, I'm gonna put a lot of wetness on the skin too, so that might help it. Let's see now for these, for these hands. It's these hands. All right. Actually, little proto hands. Ooh. Maybe I'll do some maps. Because <clears throat> I got a lot of maps I need to do. I don't know if people would like to see. See me work. See me make maps. Hmm. 
Crap, I just did this on the eye layer. Son of a... Alright, let me grab up some of that brown. I should have marked that color. <clears throat> no, 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 buddy. You got to get back on the right layer. There we go. Beat. I don't know, that's not too bad. Sticks. Well, let's work on this first. Let's get some let's get some little contrasting values in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One minute. One minute. Oh, well. All right, well, there it is for tonight. <clears throat> well, that, that went by pretty fast. Let me switch a Rooney here. All right. Um... As always, you could catch edited versions of these streams on the YouTube channel, Charisma Kills TV. I've seriously been thinking about just streaming over there too, so we just keep it all in one spot. I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, just a reminder, second week of October, second week of October, yes, we will be at Contra Flow in New Orleans. Try to get a link for you for that. Uh, now we'll be there for three days. And I will be running test plays of weird in the game room. We might actually get a table. They normally put me in the in the dealer's room. Um, but I don't have a lot of art to sell this year. So I mainly focused on the role playing. So I'm considering asking them. To just let me have a table in the game room. Then uh, we'll be running some old games and some new games. Weird, of course, but they'll all be one shots. And I, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there goes the power flickering. Better get off. So, all right, I'm going to jump off. Thank you for joining us, Diamond. Thank you to everyone else who tuned in. Um, you 
Yes, yes, I'm a guest. I'm a guest at Gosh Book. Anyway. <clears throat> Maybe next time I will have uh, I'll be a little more together in head and I can hold a better conversation and draw in color at the same time. Try to do these streams on Mondays and Wednesdays in the evening. So if you like what you saw, you can give us a follow or you know you know how that works. So oh well, I won't keep you all night on this prologue. Look at it, look at my hand. Look at my hand. Something has eaten me alive. I was working in the yard today. Man, tore me up. All right. <laughs> Fuck it, we're out of here. 